You know what we gonna do? What the fuck are you talking about, Dunn? What are you Grand talking about? Is available <laughs> to to Grand Central. Shut your candy ass up! You can't stop me! Come on. Get the fuck out of here, niggas. You niggas think it is a game, huh? They got some fucking joke? Ain't no fighting scenes. Like, man, it's still, bro. I ain't see it. And clear of the closing doors, please. What's going on, you bitch-made-ass niggas, you bitch-made-ass bitches, you real-ass niggas, and you real-ass bitches? We back. Shit. Crack in the 80s, episode 110? 110. Oh, shit, 110. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, right? I remember when niggas was just getting to 100. I remember when niggas getting episode 10. <laughs> nah, facts. 110, wow. 100 episodes later. Holy fuck. Look at that. Look at that. Look at life. And we still here, bitches. See and we bitch still here niggas. with the new audio. With the new audio, with new the studio. New audio, niggas. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, niggas? Like, I can hear you clearly. You can hear me clearly now. <laughs> Craig <laughs> is gone. <laughs> I can see clearly now. Not real talk, though. We here, man. We here, man. Fuck. We back. We didn't miss another week on you, niggas, man. We back here. We we working. We working, man. We. I don't think we could take another break um, or another day off for a while, fellas. Yeah, the, Maybe to like election day or some shit. Yeah, we're fucking... The next time we take a week off, not saying we will, but if we was to, we feel like, nigga, I don't know, uh, World War Three might actually happen or some nah, shit. Nah, facts. Something, something might happen. We, we, we may not get a enough, chance. Which is actually tempting me to... Let's push... Let's, let's do another week. We just... Not recording to see what happens. <laughs> to see... Or to see what we could come back to. For yeah, for real. Right. God damn. Fuck around uh, to be another president assassination. That shit ain't happened since Kennedy. Can you imagine that? Like, just, we talking, we, we've we been talking about rap beef, and obviously we're going to get into that shit later on in the pod, but there was really a time where niggas lived and seen the president die, die on live TV. TV, yeah, word. Niggas that's like the, TV. That shit crazy. Bow, nigga, head gone. Bow. That's <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. Social media now, that nigga wouldn't last an hour. Whoever the shooter is, they ain't gonna find that nigga. Yeah, nah, facts. They find they gonna, that's the good thing about social media, at least. And they're gonna turn around, there's gonna be a camera on them. We got him, it's gonna be on TikTok. <laughs> we got him. Uh, we got him. <laughs> we got him. We fucking got him. Man. ASAP. Word. That shit is crazy. It's the gift and the curse about social media. You know what I mean? I My shorty just left. You know what I mean? Shout out to Baby Love. We was usually we wake up, scroll through socials and shit just to see whatever random shit's there. She she fuck with TikTok, so she be heavy on TikTok. I ain't gonna front. I be I be there, like laying next to her, just judging, but also watching. You ever did that shit? Like you will judge somebody on some shit, but you engage just as much. Yeah, you try to feel like you hiding. Like, yeah, watch this bullshit, but you right. there like. So she said, "What now?" <laughs> it's like, yo, nah, but social media. They was. It was some bullshit that happened in the town this weekend, and apparently they found a nigga because of social media. So I was just like, "Hey, at least that's at least that part still exists." Yeah, I know you're talking about justice. The, uh, the belt uh, strangler, right? So no, they didn't find that nigga, and we they ain't got to talk about guy. that. Yeah, yeah oh, they found man. another guy okay, that like yeah. harmed some uh like a, a girl. Like slashed her face or some wild oh, shit in the train. Old. The yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I seen that. Yeah, it's wild Even shit going on. that up. Was just like, uh, yeah, yeah that, that belt shit was wild though. I was like, I, I didn't even watch that shit. And we gonna move right past yeah, that one. Move right past Euro that. Stat- yeah, <laughs> yeah, we not prayers yeah. to everybody involved, and it's hope facts, I hope that can get his ass beat, shot to death, nigga. Word, Real talk. Word. I have a, I have a PSA for NYC NYPD. If a nigga did some foul shit in the streets and niggas want to kill him, let niggas kill him. <laughs> Cause he'll go to jail and get done worse than actually niggas in the streets gonna do to him. Shout out, yeah. shout out to my nigga Voight from Chicago PD, man. He let the shit, he let the streets do what they gotta do. He, he, duh. You know what Talk I mean? About it. Every Come city, on. every city, every, every, every state, every city, every inner city needs a Voight, nigga. They, they, they need they need a Voight. Yeah. We're gonna let that motherfucker go out on the streets. Word. That nigga is Batman for real when you think about it. For real, for real. He'll, he'll he, be a good. He'll be a good, like, older Bruce Wayne in a, in a Batman Beyond movie. Yeah. Nah, facts. He, he kind of like does, was... mm-hmm. does have that Michael Keaton look, too, to him, too. What the fuck is like that a, a gangster out? Michael Keaton. Yeah, like a gangster Michael Keaton. Word. What'd you say, drugs? When the fuck would that even come out? 
It was it, supposed to happen, but Warner Brothers, you know, they're dickheads, so. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, so. I feel like they would ruin that. Anyway. Michael, the Bad Girl movie that got scrapped, we were supposed to see Michael Keaton in that old Bruce Wayne type S type shit. But they, they, they scrapped that movie and, and claimed it for taxes, so. <laughs> tax refund. No lie. I'm not even lying. Got that serious. No lie, no lie, no lie, yeah, yeah. Word. Speaking of Wonder Brothers, what's the nigga that's on the Maul and Rory podcast? The Maul and Rory podcast is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> is it the uh, Maul? <laughs> uh, you talking about Julian? Is he white? The white guy? That's uh, he's like he, sa- oh. he sounds like a white guy. He sounds like a white guy. He's like he, he, he's like their person of parks. Uh, he could be a white guy. I mean, I think he's half white, but he's He's more of a white. Yeah, he's Julian. We're talking. He about. mentioned James Gunn when they was talking about Drake and the pedal bars and shit like that. He mentioned oh, yeah. James Gunn, right? And I want to correct him, nigga. James Gunn hangs out with convicted pedophiles. I did hear that. Uh, I watched that episode, and he was trying to say like, "Yeah, they call him a pedo too." And da-da. yeah, because he has to wit. No, nigga, he's actually friends with convicted pedophiles. So get your facts straight, uh, Royal white Boys. boy. Yeah, Parks from, from Roy <laughs> Mori's podcast. White boy. <laughs> hey, but um, we ain't do this in a while, you know what I mean? I know the the, the people, the crack rock live familiar. Welcome back to the show, you know what I mean? Um, before we before we go any further, it's crack in the eighties. This is season three, niggas. We, y'all forgot we on season three. <laughs> this season three? Yeah, this season, season three. Remember? Tracy. Episode um fifty two was season two. And then when we got to episode 104, two years, season three, you know what I mean? Yeah, Yo, you got to So what's, what's season it. four? What's season four? Episode what? One what? One, um, 104 plus 52, 162. Is Something that like ma- that. Is that math? Is that math? Accurate? I think the math acts right. So 104 was two years because yeah. that's 52 plus 52. Right. And then after 104, you add another 52. Oh, that's one fifty six. My bad. Yeah, yeah I, was, I, I was wondering. I, I, I math wrong. Then more. Yeah, I was. I was like sixty. Whoa. Yeah, Slow nah. down. Yeah, nah. But welcome back, man. I know y'all missed this here. Um, the guys is all here. Drugs is in the motherfucking building. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. What you won't do? Mm-mm, do for drugs. You tried everything, but you won't give up. Drugs is in the motherfucking building. What's up, my guy? Hey, talk to the people, them. Hey, hey, hey. Bitches and bitchettes. Players and playettes. We back in the place to be. You know what I'm saying? Drugs, the co-host. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? With, 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 the, with the brothers. You know what I mean? We back for the crack lot familiar. We gonna we gonna do it up one time for the one time. One more time. One more time. What it, what's going on, my brother? Dan, 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 dan. Nope. Dan. Nope. Nope. New <laughs> intro. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what's... Oh. Dan, 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 dan. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I needed that because this that X man. Yo, have y'all niggas been watching it? I've been seeing it on your story, and every day I want to watch this shit, but I end up turning on some My other nigga, shit. My nigga, it is the best shit ever. Like, it's the I best heard. show this year. It's the I, best show this year. I feel bad that I ain't watch it, because I said last week, and I don't know if I said it on air. It might have been after the pod, post-pod. I was like, yo, I got, I'm going to tune in before next pod, and sure enough, I definitely did not. Yo, bro, that show is, um, I don't know how. They are, they're cooking. They are every episode. I'm, I'm every time I watch the episode, I'm like, yo, how the fuck did they cook like this? Is soul food every week? It's soul food. Then it's Spanish food. Then it's Italian food. Then it's fucking. I heard they had some Mediterranean food one episode. Yeah, it's amazing, bro. Every episode is ten out of ten. Top every cuisine. Episode. The top cuisine. Every, I and it's I blood. like that as weekly. I do too. And it's blood. I, it's oh, it's blood for it's real. Blood. It's blood. Nah, see that now I gotta now I gotta tune in. It just take a little gore. I like gore when it's animated. It's gore when it's needed. It's not like 
the boys. Where it's not nigga, gore. Yeah, nigga fall off a fall fall on the floor and his his head explode. It's not invincible. It's not yeah. the boys, but it's blood when it's Wolverine and the blood comes from Wolverine. That's all I'm gonna okay. give. Okay, okay, he, he yes. gives the blood. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. You understand what I'm saying? So what's, it, what's the shit? The animantium? What's what's my, what's the shit? My man, animantium. Got? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, it calls everybody for blood. has their moments, bro. Everybody has their moments. Rogue has her moments. Rogue is fucking, and they took a lot of inspiration from Marvel vs. Capcom too. Like Ro- Rogue's move set from that game, a mm. super fly kicker. They did a lot of shit, bro. Wolverine has moments, nigga. Morph is MVP of the show. Um. Fucking Cyclops has his moments. Fucking Nightcrawler has his moments. Gambit has the moment. Like, it's... Oh, man, that show, I gotta bro. tune in, man. I gotta tune in. I feel bad I ain't watch yet, because I'm an X-Men nigga. I got the... I got the X-Men biography book where it got all every character ever in X-Men. You're gonna give you love... The... Yeah, bro, you're gonna love that show so much, bro. It is... I, I, I cry. I told you I've cried. I've been in the crib. Yeah, that's right. Fuck out of here because that nigga's pussy. I've been in here wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to so, tune in with my shorty. Like, I'm up for sure. Like, and the, uh, the season finale is is next, this week coming up. So, oh, so perfect. I'm a, how, how long are the episodes? Like 30, 30 minutes? minutes? 30 minutes. Oh. 30, 30, the, the longest episode I think is 34 minutes. Yeah, I'm tuning in. Hold me to this. Like, I'm going to watch this shit. If the season finale is next week, that means it's before we pod again. Yep. I'm going to tune in and catch up for yep. sure. Yep. So wait till Thursday to watch it. Thursday, Friday, watch well, it. Well, no, no, no. I'm going a, I'm to a watch, but no, I'm going to just make you, sure. It, it airs Wednesday, 3 o'clock in the morning. So I'm saying, like, Thursday, you got Thursday and Friday. We pod, you know what I'm saying? We, nah. Nah, I mean, I'm mean, going to catch up before then because I don't want to watch all on in like two days. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, you can. It's, 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 yeah, you know what? You're right. True. It's 30 minutes, bro. You got yeah. Disney Plus? Nah, but I got I got I got people that love I me that ways. I can get I it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Word. I got my ways. I have my ways. Um and then Disney um Plus, so it's I just I was when I first got it, shout, shout out to my, my home girl. She gave me her, a Disney Plus account so I could watch X-Men because I got tired of casting it from my phone. Even though the quality is amazing. But it's just something about going to Disney Plus and when it drops at 3 a.m. it's there. You yeah, wait a few hours with the with the with the with, with the, the streams, with yeah, the, with, the, with the pirates. I mean, with the um, the good people them out there. Yeah, the good people them out there. Yeah, the good people on them boats with them treasures. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm the captain now. I'm the captain now. Yeah, and I'm here. I'm him. Five two is in the building. Hey, never too much. Never too much. Never too much. Never too much. Boom 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 boom. That's actually a brilliant intro song because too much, too. Oh shit! I never. I feel like I did. I did, I feel like I did put that together. Like I, I did say that before. I said that before, right? Hey man, shout out. Like I said, this is another thing. My, 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 my girl is amazing for so many different reasons. But she, she gave me that intro without even knowing she did. Oh shit! Hey, man, I was just like, out, wow. Shout out to the missus, man. man shout out to the shout missus. To the missus. Clap, shout clap, to the clap it on up for the missus, man. Come on, no, man. Let's get, so yeah. her name, since your name was like 5'2", will her name be like 36? Mrs. 36? Is that like... Uh, five, no. two, three, six. I, I, my, either I don't know math or it went over my head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, I mean, because 36 is more... Because, I mean, two, three is after two. Mm-hmm. And five is at, and six is at oh, five. So okay, it's, okay. Yeah, it's not like a secret. I see where I see where you coming yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. I see where you I see where you landed on that one. Yeah, you see the, the, the you see the, the clip. You see the yeah. The, I yeah. seen that. Yeah, you yeah, see, yeah. Okay. Like uh, I'm, I definitely we gonna watch this. I'm gonna watch this. With her. We might start this tonight. But shout out to her. Like she ain't into none of this shit. But if I'm into the shit, she'll be she, into the shit. One hundred percent. Definitely gonna fuck with X Men. And I think she will too, because she likes animated series. And it's not childish at all. It's not childish. It's yeah, happy. and that, and that's it, what I've heard. It's not child. No, it's not. It's not. If this was, if this, if this type of content was Aaron Saturday morning cartoon shit, this is not. It could. It couldn't. It would be too. Yeah. It's tackling too much. This like, is not X Men Evolution. No. Even though the, the, the original animated series X Men, when it came out in the nineties. It did tackle a lot of heavy shit, but this shit tackles some heavy shit, bro. It ha- it 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 goes there. Shout out to content coming back around to that place. Like I I be so I be at work, and I used to you know what I mean I used to keep on like a lo-fi, uh, 
lo-fi YouTube stream where they just play lo-fi music on a like continuous loop, you know what I mean, like a live stream. Now, what I do, I'll put on a live stream, shout out to the Wrench Repeat YouTube channel that show Saturday morning cartoons. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was telling y'all niggas about that shit yeah. during the you, Christmas time. I was you watching, told me. I, I was watching you told me. Yeah. That shit, I was just watching and I realized... Yo, cartoons back then, they had like some heavy moments. Yeah, they definitely did. They definitely did. It wasn't did. just like no child, because I'll be watching it as an adult, and I'll be like, yo, damn, they they talking about this? They made that joke? Like, right, right. Wow, yeah, I right. missed all of this shit as a kid. Right. We was young. We didn't catch it. But even like catching it now, it still seems like it's not geared toward the AIDS group that it's set for. That's what, made, that's what made the greatness of Cartoon Network because it, it was a, and, and this goes back to the conversation we had weeks ago about the, you know, the better yeah, cartoon. Yeah, go ahead. I was about to add on to it because I, I had a point. I think I didn't get to really say it, but I had a point about that. Nickelodeon geared more, I'm not going to say, Nickelodeon geared towards your experience as a child at that moment. From adults, what made it weird. Right. Like, for instance. That was my back, whole point. As told by Ginger. That shit was shit we was dealing with at that moment, even down to all grown ups. We were mm-hmm. in school at that time, like the Rugrats were in school. Yeah. But shit like Cartoon Network dove into adult shit that we didn't we didn't experience until now. That's why them cartoons are so goaded. And it'll stand the test of time. Stand my point time. my right. point back then, I don't think I got to really explain what I was saying, but exactly that same point. I feel like Cartoon Network got away with a lot of adult topics that wasn't weird or like some kinky random nasty shit right and put it in a cartoon nickelodeon did the same thing with their cartoons and scripted television but it was some weird shit they was trying to get off right Cartoon that's the work. difference between the two I, i've right from what i've come to understand and, and, and as i got older i realized that adult swim was Cartoon Network just on steroids. Yeah. Right? Because now that I look back at it, <clears throat> look at Adult Swim, like back in the day, I looked at Adult Swim like, this is like some fucking, this shit should be on HBO. This is like some HBO Tom block. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? You could put soft porn in Adult Swim and it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be out the norm. Not facts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real talk. But as I got older and I, I started to see the things that Adult Swim did for animation, it kept, the spirit of real animation alive where people get to tell these stories. And I, that's why I praise Smiley Friends so much because, which I feel, and I recommend it to my mother, and she, she, she's starting to grow and love the show. She's starting to understand the humor of it. But the creators of Smiley Friends, I don't know if you niggas remember, there was a website back in the day called New Undergrounds where they had mini games. That's where the famous Peanut Butter Jelly Time song came from. Mm. And they had like a lot of like... A, crazy shit on the website nothing nudity no shit like that but it was a lot of fucking nudity wild. it was a lot of wild like shit on there like you we, you was a kid being a school shooter when the school pissed you off you had superpowers a lot of weird crazy shit on that website but the creators of that website are actually making a show or doing a show called smiley friends which i think is the funniest shit out right now i think it has rick and morty beat by a long shot um and even down to just like other shows like you know children's hospitals fucking hilarious yeah, uh, Tim and Eric. Tim and Eric. Um, it's just it, even down to Rick and Morty. You know what I mean? So, it, it, yeah, just Cartoon Network should just age and, and 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 to add on to the the YouTube page that that drops those uh, episodes. I love the fact that they have the commercial block, so it fully immerses. Bro, <sighs> that's the best part for me because I was I I be. I, I I talk to my girl a lot. I love my girl. Like we talk, you know me. We like just like you and uh, drugs talk. Right. Me and my shorty, we be talking and shit. We be talking about, you know, what I mean, um, kale niggas be talking about um, rollerblades and shit. Right, right, right. Uh, grocery oak, shopping, groceries. You know food. what I mean? Right, things of that nature. You know what I mean? We, we we talk about shit. I was telling her the same thing. I'm like, yo, is it? Me, and obviously I don't watch or have cable now to watch Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network to see what commercials they have now. And I think I might have brought it to the chat, but I'm like, is it me or was back then? Did they have a lot more giveaways and engaging shit for kids to do 
as opposed to now. Like I'm watching that the with the commercials on that shit, and it's like, go ahead and send yours. Uh, like they do raffles. Yo, go ahead and send in this to blah 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 number, and you got a chance to win an Australian safari for this Pokemon game, and you can get this. Right, and get right. this now. Right. Who knows if it really actually happened for winners? But this the commercial. Like even they got McDonald's commercials. I don't even see McDonald's commercials nowadays. We don't. Watch Everything TV, is just we ads. We, we, we don't watch TV. So but I, and, I, and I think that's what it is. So I think we just don't watch TV, live yeah. cable to yeah. tell. Yeah, my mother still has live cable. So when I'm back in New York City, I'm at my mom's house. I'll check it out. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, you know what? Same. My my parents got cable. I'ma just yeah. kind of just sit there for some research purposes for a day and just be the, like, and the, the, see what the fuck just, is on. It just felt so homey. It just, uh, I really wish I had a fucking time machine. It's a good question. If you had a time machine, would you go to the past or to the future? I would go definitely go to the past. I really? A hundred percent go to the past. I would not. You wouldn't go to the, go to the future. future. I would. I don't want to see the future. What about you, drugs? If you had a time machine, would you go to the future or to the past? In any capacity, you could have more money in both times. I hate to you cut could you have... off. This is the perfect segue. Uh, what I got cooking right now is a perfect. Keep going. Cook. Keep top. Yeah. Keep keep time machine and going. Got it. Got it. Cook. Go ahead and cook. No, well, well, John, Tom, answer the yeah. question. I feel like I will, pro- if anything, I will probably go back. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I will go back to the past. I would, at, I would... at what age? Um, Maybe like around like 11, 12. Right. Right around there, right? You would, I would do high school so different. Nigga, what? I'd be out of high school. You would drop oh, out. Oh, you mean 2011? I approach school, I'd, Bro, I'm not I'm I'm not gonna like uh sit here and speak like I'm a genius, but I in the moment of school, it was a lot of things I didn't take serious and I had my Touché. reasons for it. Touché. Like a lot of the subjects I honestly felt like I did I just didn't care for. And look now, I don't even do them. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like right. You know, it was probably it could be ignorance. You know, who knows, whatever. Uh, but um, yeah, I I feel like that's kind of the age I will go for, like the preteenish, because that's when you 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 begin to understand everything. You kind of introduce to the world, um, the real world. Yeah. Yeah, so you know your understanding is just at another level at that point. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely. But here's the thing, though, right? The time machine. We would have to change the rules of a time machine, right? Because, and this goes. I was watching before I even hit hit niggas with the with the crazy segue, right? Because me and Ye talk, we talk about things and we talk about segues sometimes. Mm-hmm. But to add on to the list of movies I was watching, which Ye knows what I was watching, but I did watch Hot Tub Time Machine. Mm. I don't know if you niggas. That's one of my Come favorite on, movies. Now? The first yeah. one is one of my favorite movies. The second one is ass. Yeah, but like I've never seen the second good. one. I didn't care to see that shit. Uh, the nah, first, I, and I feel like that's time. that's what kind of fucked. It, did, it didn't need a sequel. Uh, didn't need one. It but, really didn't. Like even how the first one ended. Like why? Yeah, Continue. I guess because the first one was probably so loved. It's like we gotta make a sequel because the first one's amazing. That's 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 where I think a lot of well, I get it. It'd be money grabs. Maybe they do make a quick little buck. It's not as much as the first, but it's like ah, legacy. Isn't legacy more important? Because if you really. don't make the second one, you can set yourself up to be in more of a legendary position to do something else that's great. I don't think Hollywood thinks about that. Yeah, I think and you're right. That's exactly about... what it is. You're right. But yeah. would you go? We would have to change the rule. Like I feel like the hot tub time machine is like the best, the best way to do time travel because of the fact that you're going back in time, and you are yourself at that age where you went back in time too. Mm. Rather than like you know the normal time machine shit that we see, it's like you go back in time and yourself is still there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Like we, I would want to. If I go, if I use a time machine, I would want to be me at that age. I don't want to. 
I don't want. But with your knowledge of uh, the right, the future of right. the future. Okay. Right. Yeah. Got right. it. Gotcha. Right. Mm-hmm. I would have. I don't know, yep. man. I feel like I would want to go to the future, bro. Wow. Good. Right. Cause anytime I think about going to the past and thinking of of obviously like yeah I'll go back with the knowledge that I have of now and do things different to make sure I'm in a better position in the current time I'm like why doesn't it work both ways why can't I go to the future learn some shit that's existing come back to cuz time machine time travel whether it's a real thing or not and I don't think they shout out wrong to in that. I shout out to TikTok there's a whole like time traveler TikTok that's going around right now but I'm like What's this? What, who's to say that when you go to the future, you can learn what's popular there and then bring it back to your current time, and then you you're you're the same person, and then just get ahead of that shit and you know what I mean? I think you can't you, do that. You could. I think we was thinking more so about changing the, the present. Yeah, yeah, that and like me personally, I, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to change anything. No, I would definitely, I would definitely pull a hot tub time machine and like. Like make up, like I would create like Apple, like I would, I would like do that. Like, that's, see, I don't like, think that's a possibility, though. You gotta think of it like this it's too. Not, like, just if like, you if you think it from a spiritual standpoint, like a lot of people don't even like going to see talk to a psychic, right? Because yeah. they, the anxiety, won't allow them to, you know, know what even they think. You know what I'm saying? Is gonna possibly. Yeah. Hey, Hey, listen, niggas. Occurring. Listen, I went to a psychic at a time in my life where I was in, like, I want to say the most detrimental, life-changing shit of my life. I don't know if the Crack Rock La Familia know this situation. I doubt they do because I've never got personal on the show. I'm to say nah. Them niggas don't know. <laughs> but you niggas are aware that I was supposed to, I was going to have a son before I had my daughter. Mm. And when I went to the psychic... Right, because I used to work at this pet shop over in Park Slope. Shout out to Park Slope, beautiful. Shout out to area. Park Slope, man. Um, there was a, a a palm reader that had her own like little shop, like in the next building. So I went there one day, and I paid her twenty dollars. You know, even though it was ten, I gave her twenty, and I gave her the twenty hoping for change. But she read my palm after I gave her the twenty. <laughs> she did a phenomenal job. I'm just gonna say that. Okay, I, I she said I see a child that you are worried about. You need to look into that. I don't see I don't see that. But I do see you taking care of a child next year. And I was looking like, what the fuck is she talking about next year? Mm-hmm. I had Peyton that next year. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Real shit. And then she said that she seen palm trees and all types of other shit. And three kids. I'm supposed to have two more kids, apparently. Yeah. I don't know how true this is, but I'm supposed to have two more kids. Hey, it's possible, man. Shit. It's possible. I'm about to say we're, it's possible. we're your trajectory right now, nigga, you're going to be at the embassy real soon. <laughs> hey, listen. Okay. That's all it takes. <laughs> right? Speaking of embassy. <laughs> speaking of embassy. Fuck you. Speaking of embassy. <laughs> and, and, and Just don't hide them, though. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, I might. I'm hiding um, mine. I might. I'm hiding mine. That's what your kids know. <laughs> um, <laughs> speaking of embassy. And speaking of movies I watched on top of Hot Tub Time Machine, no Diddy, I watched Casino, I watched God- Godfather, and I watched The Godfather too. Oh, All, mm-hmm. like, back to back. Damn, you spent the whole day, because each of the movies is at least like three, four hours. Shout out to Robert was, I, De Niro. I started, at like, I started at like at two in the morning, and it ended like nine-ish. God, I thought you were gonna say like during the day. And shout out, shout out to that Robert De Niro for sure. Yeah, all that my is, De Niro family, De Niro fans. You know what I'm saying? Joe Pesci, the goat. You know what I'm saying? Sharon Stone. Let's get some Sharon Stone. Sharon, love. Come, on, come on now, come on now. What do y'all think is the better movie? Before we get into the Godfather shit, because that's gonna take up the entire episode. What do you, what do you think is the better movie, Godfather or Casino? Casano. I Man. thought we was doing Goodfellas and Casino. Sorry, the, the O always fucks me up. Goodfellas or Casano? I'm going Casino. I'm going Casino too, bro. I'm like, after watching it again, I may go Casino, but I feel like 
Goodfellas has more anxiety than Casino. Like high stakes anxiety. Yeah, you mean? high stakes anxiety. Yes, it does. Casino doesn't have no anxiety. Like suspense. Yes, like there's no suspense in Casino. Um, kind of it's back a, to differ. It's just a well written fucking differ. movie. It's a it's, well written. some suspense. Every De Niro movie is suspense. In Give my me a opinion, with suspense in Casino. What 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 suspense was it? There was really no suspense. My nigga, didn't they blow up his V when he was? Uh, that's how the movie starts. Yeah, but that wasn't that wasn't when when the when the when the V blew my nigga, up. You watching a movie? You expecting the nigga whip the blow up? At that time, because they 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 did a they did a montage of them killing everybody that had something to do with the casino. My nigga, cut the y'all whole off. casino scheme out of, in a movie was was suspense. The, the movie was what do you mean? It, bro, it was a little of everything, honestly, in that movie, bro. That's why I so goaded, my nigga. Suspense. It was some calm. It was some comedic the relief in there. For me, it the was, suspense for me in Casino was when you didn't realize Ginger was gonna go back to this nigga Lester Diamond. That's a suspense oh, man. right there. There you go. There you like, go. Okay. You was yeah, expecting that. Right, right. Suspense Especially after you, he was treating I, I, this bitch I was so good. Mm-hmm. Watching Goodfellas. I didn't sweat watching Casino. That's all I'm saying. I think the stakes are different, but I don't know if it was based off of um anxiety. Touche. But I feel you though. I I I, I get your point because I Casino I agree. is Casino is a more a better both those movies are fucking well written. I'm not taking nothing away from Goodfellas. Martin Scorsese says he cooked. You know, come on, man. You know what, what I'm saying? Was, he got his N words off. You know, he loved that shit. What? There was no N words in Casino. What category did Goodfellas Watch it again, fall in? bro. <laughs> huh? What category did Goodfellas fall in? We see Casino, uh, they put it in. So, crime Casino was listed as a crime thriller. Right. I feel like Goodfellas is going to be the same thing. Yeah, because Goodfellas is definitely a crime thriller. Yeah, crime thriller. I think all okay. of Scorsese is a crime thriller. Goodfellas came out in the 90. And good uh, casino came out in '95, so five years later. That's Wait, crazy. Goodfellas was after Casino? No, no, Before. Goodfellas was '90, 90, 1990. Oh, Casino '95. Mad Young and Goodfellas, bro. Yeah, they was Mad Young and Goodfellas. Yeah, word. Um, yeah, but I, you I, was watching it. Go ahead, continue. Oh no, nah, it's just it's just an amazing fucking movie. Um, it's amazing. It's a, it, and I felt like Robert De Niro's character. Robert De Niro's character was a fucking. Nimrod, because it's like leave that bitch alone. I, he in Casino, it. yeah, he loved that way too much. Sam Rothstein, too yeah. much Bro, Sam Rothstein. It's real life, too it's... much flossing. What? What? Oh, this is gonna be even better for the continuation of this podcast. Yeah, it's, 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 too much flossing, uh-huh. too much Sam Rothstein. I ain't a bitch, but I got a divorce him. Yeah, Ove had to get the shallow shit up off him. Now we're going into the Goodfella, the Godfather watches. What a what a, a phenomenal record. Yo, who you the fuck was on one, the keys on that one, shit? Just Blaze? Yeah, nah, that's Dr. Dre, bro. They got Just Blaze on everything. That shit do sound like uh, Taylor May freestyle from Keys. Anyway, that's um, Dawson. Oh, 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 nigga. Uh, what that huh? nigga said? One, one, and run again. One. That was Chrisette M- Michelle before they gave her the Trump rumors. Yeah, word. Before oh, the man. Trump. Yeah, she was um, smoking shit. She Godfather. Was smoking. Godfather. My favorite movie of all time. Next to Batman v Superman. It is... I always had Godfather 2, but after rewatching 2 and 1, it gotta go to 1. 2 was amazing. But 1 is something special, man. 1... God, the original Godfather is... It is... It's crazy that shit came out in the 70s. That is peaks. There's no film to top it. To me, it's nothing like fucking with that movie at all. Um, I'm about to put my cam on real quick. Pause. Just show y'all niggas this shit. Oh, I can't do it while we record it. Never mind. I got the Godfather shit right here on the back, man. It is it is the greatest it is the greatest movie of all time. It 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 really is. Um fucking Al Pacino's role as Michael is his switch up is just phenomenal. And I feel like and, uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, in the movie, per se, they, like, Sonny wasn't fit for it. Sonny was the hothead. Um, what's the other brother's name? Um, fuck, I forgot the, the, the second older brother. From from Godfather you talking about? Yeah, it's Michael, Sonny. Fredo? Fredo. Fredo was a bitch. Fredo didn't even know how to shoot a gun. So, 
Fredo, he couldn't be. He couldn't be the Godfather. Michael was the only one that could be the but be the Godfather because of his sternness from the military. Him going to the military helped a lot, like with his mental and taking over the family's business. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it. That the that shit is just crazy. And on top of that, I, I damn, I'm tight. They killed his wife when he was in Sicily. I'm I'm so mad. Like. It's like, damn, he really was in love with that girl. He was in love with that bitch that he had them kids with. On top of that, she wasn't even Italian. She wasn't even from Sicily. <laughs> she wasn't full blood. No, it, she it, wasn't it, even it, Italian. I, I understand why they feel that way. Like certain mafia people, they feel that way. That's why, um, what's the the the, the stepbrother's name? Uh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Get the fat check. The I other, got it. I'm putting it up. The lawyer of the family. I forgot his name. Uh, from you talking? So you still talking about fathers, right? Yeah. Tom, hey, uh, Tom, he, Tom, 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 right? Tom, C crazy that his name is Tom, and you for and uh, succession, the guy's name is Tom. It's crazy, and they kind of like him in a lot of ways. Um, Tom wasn't full Sicilian. He wasn't. He wasn't from it. He was just somebody that he wasn't full WAP. He wasn't full WAP. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So he wasn't. He was. Yeah, he was a part of the family, but he could never step into the role as Godfather because of that, or be looked at in that light because he's not. He's not full bred. He's not. He's not full WAP. Um, but the wife, yeah, she wasn't, so she moved, uh, you know, she was scared of certain shit. Like, the Godfather's wife, Don Corleone's wife, she paid that, the nigga, the shit that he did, no mind. She was just the wife. She knew what he did, but she just cooked her spaghetti, loved on, or loved on the grandkids, and mm -hmm. did what the fuck she was supposed to do. Michael's wife was a fucking bitch. <laughs> on top of her getting an abortion in the sequel, and I was sitting there yelling, this, I forgot this stupid bitch got an abortion. How you gonna kill his son, bitch? How dare you? You're mm. not full bread walk. That's why. Mm -hmm. But um, to bring in the Drake and, and, and the wild shit with that, the line, the infamous uh, Jay-Z line, the bar Z to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me drop a bomb on this real quick. <laughs> it's going to be a real bomb in the uh, sound effects, guys. <laughs> um, but whoa, what are you connecting here, brother? What's going it's on? Funny Good that Jay-Z... Said on the Drake song, the Barzini brought up the Barzini meetings, right? When him himself is moving like Barzini. Now, if you don't know, the God Emilio the Barzini is a fictional character from the Goodfellas movie. I'm gonna break it down for you. Break it the down. The whole plot of the Godfather is that, all right, you know that the Godfather he was smuggling oil and liquor. Right, because at that time that shit was scarce. We call it doing his thing. Right. Right, he was that. doing we, his thing. He, he was doing his thing. It reached to a point where drugs was becoming the new hot shit on the block. It was the, it was the, it was the, you know, it was the Zaza. The Zaza. Mm -hmm. He went to bring in the Zaza. Facts. And the Godfather, Don Corleone himself. Don Corleone. He was not with the drug shit simply because it ruins families. You know, it's it's not good. He had morals. He had, even morals. though he was doing dirty shit, he had morals slightly. He had morals, and on top of that, a lot of them, the, the people in the, the five families, were jealous of him because he had relationships with all the judges in in the state. He mm -hmm. had connections, and a lot of them didn't. Um, so he had a meeting with one of these guys, and he denied it. But the son, Sonny, wanted to go forth with the drug shit. He was like, "Dad, come on, da da da." Let's... And Don Corleone looked at him like, "Nigga, don't you ever speak when I'm speaking." But that right there, and th th at that time, men were so like, I guess everybody was just like, IQ was at like a thousand. They peeped that as weakness in the fucking, in the family. Because if your son is speaking up, if he's not on you, if he has different opinions on it, then we can get to him. Right? So what they did was, they killed, they tried to kill the godfather, Don Corleone himself. And then they went for Tom, and they went for Sonny to try to get them to... Let the drug shit go by. But Sonny wasn't with it. You motherfucker shot my father. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, after, you know, the godfather recovers, and in, in the middle of his recovery, Sonny gets killed because the godfather's daughter was messing with some wild, abusive-ass nigga. She actually married the nigga. And, um... She was fucking with the nigga from Courage the Cowardly Dog? 
Who 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 you talking about for girls? Uh, uh yeah 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 my son Mad Dog yeah <laughs> Mad Dog nigga yeah yeah word word um it's yo yo it's crazy because who else is Mad Dog? Whoa 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 this list let's, whoa. let's tread lightly let's let's not get, not dog, get too crazy. <laughs> look at the levels and he's the reason why Sonny got killed. That's crazy. This shit is this whole fucking rap beef is the golf off of. <laughs> nah, nah. For bro, everything, bro, ah. Keep keep going, keep going, because I don't want to get too out of out of yeah. That's crazy right there. That's that's level five right there. That's um, that's there, yeah, that's level five for sure. Yo, so um never seen bro at a at one of them brunches. I'm just saying. Nobody knows. Oh, Drizzy or yeah. Drizzy a mad dog. That nigga mad dog. Oh nigga said, ain't nobody scared of no sad dog. <laughs> he said, no, no, mad dog. Nigga, stop cutting his hair and everything and dip, bro. That nigga left his cane there. His whole <laughs> walker was. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh after fucking Sonny gets fucking, they violated Sonny. You know, it's the infamous line. They look how they massacred my boy. Yeah, they, they violated put, Sonny. They, they they put holes in him. Um, he has a meeting with the five families, mm-hmm. and he's sitting down and he's talking to you know the five families who are you know respected. They're also in his position in Don Colion's you know rankings, and he's saying that you know he wants this shit to come to an end. And you know before he even says that. Barzini goes, yo, listen, you have all the politicians and judges on your side. You need to share that with us. It is important that you do. We are not family if that if that doesn't happen. Right? So Don Colion agrees to the sentiment, right? They get back in the car. Now at the time, we don't know who's behind all this, all this wild shit. We know that, you know what I'm saying? We don't know who's behind everything. We don't know who's how who who sent son. To have the meeting with, with Don Corleone about this drug shit. Who shot at Don Corleone? Who killed Sonny? We don't know these things. Right. Mm-hmm. And and the car, in the in the car, Don Corleone goes, I can't believe it's Barzini that's behind everything. Mm-hmm. So Barzini was the mastermind. Even though he and he was the top of the fucking food chain. He was the he was the big homie. The Don Dada. You know what I'm saying? And he was the he was the traitor. And with this Drake and K dot shit, it's kind of looking like Hov your boss eating. Before we even get that far, we got to talk about the Drake Jay Z light up verse, right? Where Hov or Mister Sean Carter himself he refers to that shit, and 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 it it, it goes so crazy that because Barzini gave himself up when he said that. Right? And Jay Z's kind of saying he's Barzini if you catch the movie. If you understand the movie and understand how the Godfather found out it was Barzini, it's the same fucking method Jay Z used on that light up verse. Drake, watch for the traitors. Now watch how they come at you with silly rap fuse trying to, dis- trying to distract you and disguise in the form of a favor. The Barzini, he's what? Wait, 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 wait. Go to the lyrics. Did he say the Barzini in me, or did he say the Barzini? The Barzini, the Barzini wow, meeting. Medium, he said medium. so. He goes, "Yo, ow, hoes turn their head like crazy. owls. I'm the verse. man of the owl. That's that's man. What an opening line. Yeah, he wild out. He Triple wild out. entendre. Don't even ask me how. Con that is in flow. I'm connected to a high power. Whoa, whoa. He's giving himself up." What's this high power, bro? Whoa. Whoa. Bright lights. I'll make your whole city light up. A trillion white light bulb. When I'm in the nightclub, I just landed in the G450. Caught the Mayweather fight because satellite was crispy. Uh, y'all can't miss me with the money talk. The smart money's on hold. Fuck what the dummies talk. Uh. I don't do too much blogging. I just run the town. I don't do too much jogging. Uh. Mm. I ain't got a scar yet, cause you fucking around with me. My my dogs. my dog's far fetched. Drake, here's how they gonna come at you with silly rap feuds, trying to distract you. 
in disguise in the form of a favor. The Barzini meeting. Watch for the traitors. Uh, I done seen it all and done it all. Done Whoa. it all is important. That's why none of these dumb dumbs could done them off. Could done them off. Uh-huh. The summer's owls. The winners, the winners too. too. Top down and the winner. That's what winners do. This is Drake's first album in 2010. Yeah. Crack Rock La Familia. This is 14 yeah, years that ago. That was when he sunned him in. Or tried to sun him in. Mm-hmm. And that's also when y'all listening to all these Drake songs. And y'all hear Drake throw in that little term. And he starts saying shit like the higher ups. Yeah, y'all gotta pay attention to shit like that. Who y'all think he's talking about? Listen deeper. Listen deeper. Listen fucking deeper. Fuck y'all think he's talking about. Y'all think y'all think he talking about the 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 all the white guys in the suits, the all the the, the trillionaires that, that give him his paycheck? That's that's what that's what y'all I hope that's not what niggas first thought was like. So I think we all can agree, Drake is Don Corleone. Drake is Don Corleone. It's not Tariq no more. <laughs> <laughs> Tariq Corleone, your fucking ass is grass, brother. You're not. You're not him anymore. You're wow. not him. Anymore. I mean, did you see the new trailer? Until, uh, the, the, I, and I was about to say until a new season of t- fucking Power comes out because that new trailer looked kind of cool. It looked kind of crazy. It looked kind of like I'm. He's trying uh, to get his no, name back. Yeah, no, niggas, niggas right. capturing y'all again. <laughs> fooled again. Oh yeah, we're gonna be back. Drugs, don't you worry, my brother. We're <laughs> gonna be back. Yeah, Tariq I Cole, yo, like, got nigga. y'all niggas again. Tyreek Coley, y'all. He's his father wishes he was Tyreek Coley, y'all. Oh fuck. Oh man. I mean, just so I I got a Drake take. He's getting man. clapped in this season, by the way. But continue. I got a Drake take. The the rap beef is. Allegedly over. We know it's not over because we real rap fans. No. We level five with this shit. We know it don't it's just end because Rolling Stone battle, says so. Yeah, I guess. According to the media, you know, it's we know popular, better. It's whatever is popular to say, whatever sounds better to say. That's that's what niggas is going with. I know this. That's what people do now. Like you know what I'm saying. Gilly even had a little post. I seen him. He was talking about it a little bit, you know, putting his two cents on it. But, you know, Gilly, he don't give a fuck about what nobody say. Like, you know what I'm saying? He feel mm-hmm. how he feel. Not to say that no, any one person opinion is valid in this. But it's just really it's, it's really cool or not cool. That's not the right word. I appreciate niggas like him. That he, he beef with the nigga. Crew who Drake is, uh, you know, I mean, uh, uh, essentially stem from. He was a part of the shit and beef with that whole crew. Well, who Rockefeller or Cash Money? Cash no, money. no, Cash, Cash Money. He also beef Rockefeller. The Rockefeller beef wasn't as influential in yeah, Gilly's career. Jay Z just threw a shot at him. He's the right, but he's not real. Jay Z's that. Right, right, that right, was right. The, yeah. That was the that was the Gilly line. It don't hit as much as like his real like it's a real beef when you sign to a nigga helping with shit and you know what I mean niggas dog you or whatever the fuck mm-hmm. um it did still seem it, it did seem like Gilly was a little bit biased about the whole shit but it, it, it don't matter I got a Drake take though about so we've seen where it is now you know what I mean stories is coming out niggas is releasing articles in the media about the battle being over. We know what rap beef shit just ain't is there's no way to be like, all right, today it's over. That shit it is not realistic. It doesn't work that way. If niggas got real problems, this shit is going on forever. And then like how can you arbitrarily just say some shit ended if it's real problems? But anyway, I got a Drake take that I think I wanted to bring to the pot. I wanted to bring to y'all niggas. I kind of told drugs about it a little bit. Because, you know, we be talking. You know what I mean? Me and this nigga drugs talk about cereal. Niggas talk about motherfucking um, plant food and shit. Bitches granola. And hoes. Yeah. Bitches and hoes. All that. I wanted to bring it to here. I got a Drake. A hot take. Just hey. in terms of this beef, right? 
pause. Drake versus Kendrick Lamar, culturally, industry wise. Why is there not as many people or anyone, for that matter, blatantly on Drake's side about this shit? Like, no one has, not even his, and I'm not saying they have to or they ever do shit like this. Not even, like, people on OVO has said anything, which they probably got word not to. It, we, we, we spoke about this in the spaces. Um, crack, rock, rock, crack Rock Live for me. I'm not, I'm not sure if you know, but sp- shout out to my boy Chris. We've been hosting these spaces, and these spaces are doing numbers. Mars is famous, basically, is what he's trying to tell y'all. <laughs> <laughs> He don't know how to say it. This nigga is famous. The spaces have been doing numbers, but we spoke on this, and we feel like it's Drake. Again, the don't call me on in him, telling people to just chill. He got this. And I think I respect Drake more that nobody's coming to his side, and he's still standing, standing 10 toes. You don't think it's weird, though, that no... It's, like- it's very weird. It's very much weird. But who does Drake fuck with? Everybody that's this to him, he fucked with. So let me get into my take and just you know, to why where I'm going with it. So it's a little speculation. I have no proof or anything to validate any of what I'm about to say. This is just all came from my brain after a couple of weeks of listening to what's been going on and seeing what's been happening with the uh, this rap beef. Kendrick Lamar versus Drake. Before we get to that, me and Drugs was talking about how Drake is seemingly going against more than just Kendrick at this point. It's clear. He's going against more than just him. You got Rick Ross there. You got ASAP Rocky. You got The Weeknd and all of his crew. You got fucking Future and Metro. It's it's more than just one nigga. You can compare this to Jay-Z TakeOver. You know what I mean? Like, Family Matters, Drake... Arguably, probably one of the best disc records we've ever heard in history. Just in terms of how he decided to go about making the record, how he chose the disc niggas. Shit was very clear cut. It wasn't a guess of who he was talking about on these fucking lines that he said. In this one record that has three different beats, you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of how TakeOver was. It didn't have beat changes, beat change ups, because that wasn't a thing back then. The same beat changed up a few times. Nigga Kanye added different samples at different parts. Nas, your lays. You know what I mean? Different verses had different samples, but essentially it's the same thing. He's getting that multiple people on one record when the people, us, the fans, the outside, the crack rock, La Familia, y'all listening to the shit, we knew who we wanted to see him go directly up against. Kendrick. I think Drake got lost in that and was like, yo, all these niggas coming at me, I'm going to just diss them all on one record, like Jay did on TakeOver. And he he took a maybe the last or the second to last verse to get at Nas directly, or maybe both, the second and the third, who, who I forget specific, specifically. But for this Drake shit, I'm just like, yo, why, why is there nobody defending this nigga? Whether he told them, yo, don't defend me, it's like, you can say that. But you can still show some type of support, even if it ain't like making a diss record back or, you know, I mean, we live in the social media age. You can post yourself at home listening to a Drake song. That's support nowadays. Nobody has done anything, like at all, like nothing. No posts with the nigga. And you got to think of how many people this nigga done supported over the years. You got Migos, Quavo and Offset. RIP takeoff. You got, you know what I mean? He put, he helped them niggas. He went on tour with them niggas. That Atlanta connection, get a little deep about it. And I'm like, it can't be jealousy that these niggas is just jealous of this nigga. Cause I mean, these niggas is getting money. He's doing a it, great job at making it seem like it is, though. Is, do you think, uh, is it is jealousy? Well, and that realm of things, like you know, with the women, you yeah. know, you know, stuff like that. Like, uh, I think that's like surface things. That's like not really that important because they all smashing the same chicks, regardless. Like, that's not really like a yeah, you know. 
My take, what I've come to think what I believe this is what's going on. We could take it back years ago. From when before Drake got into this position where he is now. He came out. Obviously, he was the guy. He was the hit maker. He was young money. Young money was still a thing. This is every girl is out at this time. Bad rock. Shit like that. He's seemingly becoming that guy in hip hop, but he's still under Wayne at this point. Wayne goes to jail. Drake has to be the guy to like take over. Mm -hmm. I feel like the industry, even back then, realized that it was something about this guy that they could not figure out. I feel like the industry is built off of them knowing and figuring out everything about yeah. a certain rap artist or whoever that they can be like, all right, I, I get what's happening. I feel like Drake, they could never figure that shit out. So they used to put a lot of shit on him. Yeah. Then it came out, man, he don't write his rhymes that real. We, we realized nobody really now writes their own rhymes. There's some people, obviously, that do. I mean, we knew, but it was like a thing we kind of skimmed. Spat it wasn't past, exposed like, yeah. because we knew Drake Penn for a lot of other people. No, no, so yeah. it, well, it kind of levels it out. Like, okay, it's probably a few tracks he don't write. No, no, but, but I'm saying before he even came in the picture, like me just, you know, wanting to, you know, just writing or being an inspiring artist in general, like that. I've always known that, like, a lot of people just didn't pen their hits. Like that was just that was always a thing. Like. You know, like, yeah, but um, yeah, continue. Yeah, um, I feel like the industry, and follow me with what I'm saying here. Drake's connections, his intro to the game, where he is now, he has like this alleged big universal deal. He's tied into all of the higher ups, execs. You can look at his cultural background, ethnical background. Whatever the fuck you want to think, whether he was given that opportunity because he's such a phenomenal artist based off of whatever the fuck, whether it's he has a team of writers, whether they think he's the guy. It's clear that the industry has chosen him as the guy. Clearly, I feel like and the reason I came to this decision or understanding is like, why are all of these people at one time going against this one artist? Like, why? You know what I mean? Just the why of it. Whether it's true or not, why would you try to team up and take down one person that may not even be affecting what you're trying to do? You know what I mean? With your music or unless, unless, this is a conspiracy theory hour now, this level five type shit, unless this same nigga, even if you worked with him before, or you haven't and you just don't like him, what if he had stake in the music you put out just because he has these connections? Where I'm going with that is like, obviously, okay, you got a nigga like Rick Ross, like Rocky, that worked with him back in the day, but they didn't really work with him, work with him. They may have made a song. What if there's NDAs involved where it's like, all right, yo, I'm Drake. I got this machine behind me that's bigger than the industry for whatever reason, ethnic, cultural, whatever the fuck it is. They trust me. I, I'm in cahoots. What if my deal, because, you know, his deal is with Universal. It ain't no label deal where it's just like, yo, he's signed to a label and he's getting this money. He's signed to a deal that we don't know about, but he's getting hundreds of millions of dollars. Just for being a part of the music industry. We could assume that's what his deal is. It's not like a deal with a label or a streamer. It's just because he's making music. And whoever controls music is in cahoots with him to be able to give him a certain deal that literally no one else can get. Just because they're just not at that level. Whether it's connections or talent. It's never just talent. That's clear because talent will never get you into a place where you're overseeing this type shit. We talked about the Gamma Records, whatever. What if it's a thing where Drake has control over more than we think in this rap hip hop industry? 
What if because he's so connected with Universal, let's say anybody, any rapper, any artist has a song they want to put out? What if he get a piece from that shit? And it's just an NDA that says you can never talk about Drake getting 5, 10, maybe even 20% of your music just because that's how it's set up. I believe you it's... Would, you would hate that nigga for that shit. No, nah, 100%. And, and I think that that plays into the whole uh, level five Hov theory because remember at a time Hov had that was, was the position. same nigga. Was the same nigga in that position and he shelved a few niggas. Come they on don't now. We talk about that. But he, come shelved, on now. he shelved a few niggas. LL ain't come back out with no music after. Red Man and Method Man had to leave Def Jam. And this is when it was just Def Jam regular and label it, shit. You're right. This it's is different every, nowadays. This is when everybody was under Def Jam. Mm-hmm. Where we at now with streaming, you can do... But you still need to be connected somewhat to this industry. But it doesn't mean where what I'm seeing now, like I said, this, the silent non-support for this nigga... It's, it's, it's very loud, bro, because it's like, man, obviously it's street shit con- con- connected to it with like some Atlanta niggas. We ain't got to go that far in name or whatever. But if it's n- a nigga from like, a nigga like Drum, nigga Drum allegedly doesn't like Drake because the nigga took his record and made it Hotline Bling, a s- smash record. What if this is the same lines of shit like that? And you can't do anything about it. You think if Drum had, you know what I mean? If niggas like that had the, where all like the resources to make it a known thing, you wouldn't do it unless it's like written into a contract somewhere where you literally cannot say a thing. Because this is just what it is. Metro had a tweet recently and I don't have the tweet verbatim, but he's like, yo, I don't want to talk on this shit because it's going to make both of us look bad. It'll make me look bad, but it'll make you look worse. Who knows what that means? But just from what I'm hearing from that, it's like, yo, if it's going to make both of us look bad. But make you look worse. What could that mean? Worse in whose eyes? The industry's eyes or or our eyes? Everybody, because it's like, from what I'm thinking, it's like there's a deal or just some because, hush because, thing behind because it. Because it could make Drake look worse if Metro was to say this nigga owns our music. That can make him look worse to niggas in the industry, but not make us look at that nigga worse. The fans. I feel like, yes, but if enough people come out with their story, you're not going to like Drake for this. You're going to look at him as a bad guy. I if think, enough of the right people come out and be like, yo, this nigga just because of whatever, I'm not, you know what I'm trying to say, but I ain't trying to say that. If it's because of that reason and he just is farthered into a contract that allows him to get and eat off of everybody, it's going to make me look bad because we signed up for this. But if this is the only way, it makes you look bad because that's some evil cynical shit well it's not necessarily gonna make me well per se because i i don't necessarily we don't care who these people are like and those are actual just business moves like we've heard niggas nastier than that even from us coming up like an industry that we looked up to still to this day one of them just got caught for some next shit so now hmm. we kind of just true. questioning it even more. The other one just got locked up for it. He had the interviews and all that. We already seen the videos. We done skimmed past that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, true. Man. Entertainment Hollywood, it just gets fucking spooky, bro. This shit always goes deeper than what we. Th- see on face value for the music the cool bops but that's what i that's that's also why i think and i notice people even with this this battle quote unquote like this shit wasn't even a battle like niggas tried to make this drake versus kendrick thing and it wasn't even realistic because drake is not 
going against just Kendrick. It's not, it just wasn't realistic. Like, nigga, he's literally going at all these niggas. Like, how and easily honestly, niggas forgot. It's, it, and honestly, that, I, I didn't want to say that because that takes away from my point of him being this big, bad Thanos guy. Because it's like, why would he, unless he just had to defend himself, why would he care that much to not go against the one guy that they put, seemingly they put Kendrick to be, because of his status, to be the one guy to go against him? Uh-huh. Why didn't he just focus on that? Uh-huh. The same Unless reason it was why more. he didn't do it the last time. When niggas was begging yeah. for him to do it. Yo, you exposing your kid. Oh. Mm. And then Duppy came out. And who was that aimed at? Mm. We get deeper into the rabbit hole. Drake is all... Is Drake is, uh, niggas, niggas speak on Drake on uh, how calculated and, you know, how intelligent he moves, even, you know, with his music. Um, obviously behind the scenes but like you know like niggas easily forget that part like this nigga is like a genius with what he says like with his words like nigga oh man man what would uh spaces Mars like what you, what you gotta say just in general about just where we are now with the Kendrick versus Drake, seemingly the internet, the media is trying to say it's done. We, we, we the big, we, we the big homies of like this type shit. Now we at the age where we can see past a lot of shit or um, know what's going on. I feel like TDE niggas is scared of the truth coming out about Mad Dog, um, and what. What's to happen if that was to take place? And shout out to Ciara. She said some real, real shit. Yo, Ciara, said, like, make it sound fit. No, no, Ciara, that, that was in the spaces. She's a journalist oh. um, out from, from Atlanta, Georgia. She's really fucking dope. And she's more of a Kendrick fan than she is a Drake fan. But she see past the bullshit. And she said, whenever there's a conscious rapper being backed by Hollywood and, you know, the people in suits, it's always a red flag around. Conscious rappers don't last that long. Yeah. Drugs was just talking about this pre-pod, and and stop me if you don't want to have this take public about just not like us. Great fucking record. It's undeniable a good record, but the content of the record is way different than what we familiar with with this nigga Kendrick. Exactly. Exactly. It's not. It's not so much different. It's it's different because. He he dumbed it down, obviously, but it's. Do you think about the tone? He has records in this tone, like he has dark records, like on damn, like you know. Even if you want to tap into the conspiracy thing, like you know, he the record XXX, right? He yeah, he he dances even throughout the album, like with the visuals for the damn album, like what damn could mean. He dropped the deluxe in reverse, like you know, all of those things to me, which I think is the better version. Spiritually, but the I meaning agree. of it, like even reverse musically, when you reverse something, what does that mean, bro? It's evil. We know what that means. So yes, you know him. You know, even kind of uh, somewhat being, I, I am uh, assuming a spiritual person, in some sort. Um, I, I would I would think somebody is because, man, what we know is writing is all of that shit is uh, is spells. Like you know what I'm saying? Like and, obviously and, and what goes, you're saying is a spell. To, and I hold, to, hold on, Mars. Yeah. Oh, you know, go ahead. Go I'm ahead, gonna add on to what he's saying. I'm gonna add on to what he's saying. On top of that, Ab Soul's last album was was inspired by Alistair Crowley. Yeah. So it's it's it's. It goes into that demonic evil realm shit. Yeah. Alistair Crowley, what's that? Is that the one with Stigmata on there and the shit? Like, his, I, for, I, I forgot. I forgot. Oh, no, 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 no. The oh, Absol album the... when he had like the shades off and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he yeah, said it was inspired okay. by Alistair Crowley, and we all know who the fuck Alistair Crowley is. Alistair Crowley. Yeah. Alistair I mean, Crowley. We, we, we all don't know. We level five. So yeah. we know. We know. 
But if Crack Rock La Familia, y'all listening right now, we're not going to go into that. But if you ever search Alistair Crowley, just do a quick couple uh, of YouTube A major figurehead in the music industry, by the way, as well. Yeah. Uh, honestly, if you, if you, man, know, know anything that you know about, you know, the spiritual realm and, you know, you know, like I said, like, you know, just this speaking, you know, and that avenue of things you kind of know what, what, what writing does and what it means. So, like I said, like, um, I'm pretty sure he's aware of that. Uh, and, and, you know, this could all be a conspiracy, uh, but I'm assuming it's not because nigga we always credit these niggas with these genius what they can do metaphorically you know it's not a, it's not a mistake that these niggas is at the top the of chosen the game ones. exactly right. exactly bro what the fuck are we it's talking about accidental. we call these niggas the big three word it's not getting accident. mad because cole apologizing like bro think about all this corny shit like think about all this corny shit bro like that we tried to no matter how y'all try to pin this shit bro that was manufactured hate towards Cole for that apology. I it mean, makes no was Cole fucking to? sense. It makes no sense. What was Cole signed to when he first came in? Barzini. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. No matter how much of a fan of hip hop you are, why are these media <laughs> sources pushing that? Like, and also, why are y'all pushing the narrative of something being over so soon? Like, why y'all mm. saying some shit is over? Who the fuck? And I was, I Bro, was gonna say Lies that. When Lies and Jay was, was going say... at it, did Flex come out and say, hey, hey, I hear Guru step on the, on, on the record, on the video, and be like, yo, man. And even, yo, you know what's so crazy? Battle. Guru was dissecting records for Kendrick Lamar shit. Oh, yeah. Guru, I think Guru kind of fell for the, he might that... have been watching a conspiracy video Guru's on YouTube. Guru's compromised? Go- is that what we're saying? I mean, he still holds engineer. He's still Barzini's engineer. Nah, but I think he 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 literally promoted a YouTube video. Like he tried to drop a conspiracy on what he did Kendrick a Kyrie Irving. Yeah, that was that was kind of crazy. Some of it was reaches, like for sure. Everybody doing some 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 good old uh, Barzini DC damage control, but eh, whatever. Um, but I was gonna say, yeah, right. Like adding on to what you were saying, it wasn't like Jungle came out and said the beef is over. It wasn't like. Uh, Dame Dash came out and said the beef was over. Nope. And on top of that, is it ain't Kendrick not supposed to be signed to CD? So how the fuck is Top speaking on his behalf? Which makes push ups sound even more crazier now. Bro, and then they started speaking on what happened but like nothing resulting in violence or some shit. And it's like, wait, what? Like violence was never gonna be a thing in this beef. What why do y'all keep saying that? What what is y'all talking about, man? <sighs> Listen, my take on it is Drake is not done. He posted a video the other day on Man, top wait. of uh, his producer being in the spaces yesterday. Um, and he posted shit after he left the spaces and laughed in the spaces. Is, is that a producer for Drake? He made one record. Um, he made a few records. He's no, he's on his way to being he did one two. of them in house. Two. He, no, he, he did not. He did more. He did he's like gonna, four. Bro, listen, listen, bro. He's he, Drake. Drake is very he he forms his relationships a certain way, especially with producers. Like that's Yeet producers. If yeah, we say he's that not now. gonna probably be his own designated producer. But he posted a picture. He will up be on line. the team. Yeah, he yeah, will he's be on the team. team. He's definitely he, he threw up a picture yeah. throwing up OVO. He produced he, like six, seven songs of Fall Adults. He's he's basically what you are, nigga. You OVO the fuck. He's more. He's he's like like level ten OVO. And who's I'm to still say Yeet, Who's to say he ain't OVO, nigga? Who's to say that's he not is OVO? Man. Zach Bia, y'all know Zach Bia. I feel like I know who that is, bro. That's that's who Kendrick yeah, referred to. Right, right, right. On Zach Bia is connected to Yeet. He's the nigga that's like behind all of the internet, like fodder the memes the shit that basically makes you into it. you gotta think he came up and whatever you think come up means nigga came up pretty fucking fast 
Uh, yeah. Like, the nigga dropped the record, and then it was like a couple months later, he got a song with Drake. Nigga, I'm hip to it, man. It's the same thing with Four Bats, nigga. What, what y'all, yeah. y'all not paying attention, bro? Four Bats, OBO. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, all of that was like... It ain't accidental, the niggas that Drake is fucking with that's younger. <laughs> All of that is forming. That sounded or, crazy. Like, <laughs> wait, wait, don't put that on my boy. I didn't say nothing. It don't sound crazy if a nigga didn't make a false or true allegation about the shit. Not too shy. I didn't say a thing. But uh, we're 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 assuming being that Sunday is Mother's Day, and it's also somebody's birthday that day as well. Ooh. Whitney's birthday. Is yeah, we are, oh, man. We ain't, yeah, we ain't gotta see all that. We ain't see so, all that. God damn, this nigga. He over your uh, drugs. It's too late, bro. We yeah, here. We, we, we ain't gotta. We ain't gotta see all that. That's his. That's his people. You know what I'm saying? But we. Yeah, gonna... right. So he may drop. He may drop. He may drop soon. It's not over. It's it's. Yeah, we gon' we gon' we definitely gonna see. I mean, you know, we 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 uh. The world is tuned in. That's what I'm saying. That's some for somebody to come out and be like, yo. Yo, the battle is over. Like, you know, the then nigga, this nigga get on his podcast. He's screaming, "The battle is over." It's like he, it's like they trying to for, push the narrative so everybody can agree that it's done. And you know, they stop dropping back to back, so you know yeah. it's done. Like, you know, right, right. They they trying like, to say it's done. They trying to say it's done, but they shot a video for not like us the other day. So it's weird. It's weird, and that's why I'm saying if they really go through with this video, Kendrick Lamar's not dropping his album in May. He's not dropping. He's gonna push the album back, and he's gonna redo the album to make it more West Coast centric. Because again, this is his biggest song to date. This is the I most, don't believe that. This is the most publicity he's gotten for a song in his whole career. The most. I mean, publicity. I could say no, I could say that I agree. I agree with. I, I right. think I can agree with that one. Right. He has the clubs rocking. Kendrick don't be having the clubs rocking. Niggas ain't playing humble in the clubs. Primetime club? Niggas ain't playing humble. I think... You, so you think he gonna try to gear toward trying to be that type of artist now? The West Coast. Yes. He, he is. And the Kendrick fans will eat it up because on the Miss Morale album, he said he's not your... He's not, I'm not your savior. I'm not your savior. So all the Kendrick fans and all the people that's listening to Kendrick, they... Are, 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 are gonna accept him making an album that's real West Coast. They gonna and accept it's, it's, anything he make. Let's hey, put he that can word. shit on a beat, and they going he can yeah, they can do yeah, that. Yeah, we're not really talking about his but, fans. But no, but I'm saying I'm saying as far as because if he drops an album that is similar to Mr. Morale on some real conscious deep shit. After no, no, I don't think that would be a mistake. But I don't think that I think he's gonna drop another Good Kid, Mad City, or Damn. But it's gonna be way more Damn, Damn. All right, I can I can I can confidently say Good Kid Mad City is a very West Coast centric album. Right? It reminds mm-hmm. me of Strictly for My Niggas. If you niggas listen to Strictly for My Niggas, it's a lot of similarities with that album in Good Kid Mad City. Damn is an East Coast album. Mm-hmm. I mean, Kid Capri is narrating the album. True. Touche. It's the East Coast album. It is an East Coast album. The production, everything. It's an East Coast based album. There's nothing West Coast about Damn at all. At all. And I listen to Damn religiously. Yeah, Rihanna on there. Damn is a phenomenal album. Wow. Damn is phenomenal. It's his most selling album. He won the album. Pulitzer off of that one, right? Well, shockingly, I feel like he should have won the Pulitzer off to Ben, to ben Butterfly. I agree conceptually, but that wasn't more pop. I feel like you had to get that before Damn could win the Pulitzer. And at the time, to be Butterfly was, tra- was trashed by people. Everybody hated that album when it came out. It wasn't until years later people was like, oh, this album's amazing. And I'm like, duh, the album's fucking amazing. The yeah. fuck is y'all talking about? He was rapping his ass off on that album. Conceptual? Um, it was the concepts for me. Fuck the it, rapping. It, it was the concepts, but the rapping. Nigga had an unreleased Pac fucking interview. Right. So, um, I, I personally feel like, I could be wrong. But I do feel like he's going to make his next album very West Coast centric. So don't be don't be surprised if we get more DJ Mustard beats. If we get some, might get a DJ Quick beat. We might get some Dr. Dre shit on it. it, it I feel like he's gonna gear towards that because again, this is the most popular Kendrick Lamar song that he has. This is this is not like us. Is that it? Really is, and it, I, I, it would be smart. So you for think him. that nigga is gonna get, give in to? 
He, he yeah, because I don't nigga. I don't see that, bro. It's no way. I, I can't that believe would be that. Hilarious. As far as we know, that would Kendrick, be, honestly, that would make that he would called be a the joke. nigga a pedophile on wax. That's there's, why I'm saying no, that, that there's no limit. I was saying that Kendrick earlier. Lamar though. can do. Yeah, you're right. There's ah. no limit to what Kendrick Lamar could do if he called the nigga a pedophile and he lied about a kid. Well, on he, he made a he made a club record. Oh, about somebody being a pedophile. Yeah. yeah like there's no limits to what Kendrick Lamar Trying to get the world to dance. Right. To, a, to somebody possibly being a pedophile. Right. Exactly. Or, or, you know. I mean, I get it. We can't say that's, that's what the song is about. The line is crazy. But Bro, what? The song is not about that. That's though. the basis of the song, gang. <laughs> It's not though. When you Yo, think about what? it, it's not. Bro, it as is. soon as you hear that shit, it's over. Like literally, that's how it is for me, bro. Like I'm, bro. I'm trying to that's tell cause you because the song I, is I, fire. I get it. It's just I get it. When you I understand, listen, if you drunk in a spot, you know what I'm saying, and you don't, a you minor. know, you just hear it, and you know what I mean. That's uh, but it's like a minor. You like, yeah, I, I get like, it. I get it. You know, he and he's saying the word. We wording. Yo, yay. It's similar to Meet the Grams, right? We we all writers here. We all write, right? The point of Meet the Grams is that he has the daughter, but he covered it by talking to Adonis and Drake's mother and his father to make it seem like it was the intervention type shit. But the main objective of that song, we all have main objectives to our songs, right? Just like how can Story you conclude Adidon, that? Right? I get it, but how can you conclude that? Just because that's the most like bro striking thing. What in was the Story of Adidon? What was Story of Adidon? What was the? What was the? What... So so so. What, what what I'm hearing from y'all is the most striking, shocking thing is it's what not the, the record striking. is about. It's not the if Kendrick if Kendrick didn't have the verse about his daughter. What is the then you're saying the same thing you said on Euphoria? There is nothing new in that song Yo, besides the door. Listen, I'm not saying the concept of the song is about him being that. That's not what I'm saying, right. bro. I'm you're not, not saying, saying that. that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, and nah, that's my thing. Know. Okay, so that's what it sounded like, though. Y'all said the song nah, was about fault. I, that. I, 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 I kind of felt like you thought that's what I was saying. Yeah, nah, that, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is... I get is, it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. okay, okay. Right, right. Okay, see, okay, all right. We rolling, we rolling. We on the same right. page. Because yeah. I'm like, it's... it's no, nah, nigga, the song we, is... Listen, bro, if you hearing it in the background, like, and you lit type shit, and you not really listening to the words type shit, like, bro, it's... Bro, that song is just fire. The, the beat... Bro, we, we all agree. If we all is, agree. Like, throwing that in the record is fucking wild. Yeah, like, but it if is, you yeah, yeah, hearing that crazy. shit, like, you just... Like, you just... But, and, you know, it's and, just... And that, nah, but here's the thing, like, and, and, but that's the thing, though, right? He made... And that's why I say... I stand on... The song is about Drake being a pedophile because the main cat. Nobody knows the second verse. See, nobody, that's nobody knows the second verse. You nobody, can't say that, bro. You can't say that. I, listen, listen. It's it's frequencies, right? It's it's the anthem parts of those songs is trying to strike a chord and it's probably a minor and certified lover boy, certified pedophile. That is the main objective when the song comes on. Yeah, OV that's Hope. What, that's what makes no. I'm, I'm not well, saying to push that, that. I'm not saying that the song is about that, but those are the main objectives of that song. Nobody, the main objective means that's what the song is about. That's like just saying the plot of a movie is are, how people take it. That how people. Nobody's talking about the Atlanta scheme he did. Nobody's talking about the in the. Nobody's talking about the second verse. The because talk, that context of what we're talking about that pedophile shit is so much more extreme than any of that shit exactly. so it's gonna that's hit harder saying. that's what he just tried to say really that's what i'm trying to say and I, right and i get that but you can't say it's that not the concept of the song it's not the it's, concept it's not, at all. no it's not no but the way people take it all right all that's right that's how it is that's, boom perfect that's right? exact and i agree but you can't say he wrote the song saying yo i'm about to expose this nigga as a pedophile uh, Whether it's true or not, oh, come but he on, wanted man. niggas to hit them well, lines. That may be debatable. That may be debatable, bro. Yeah, because that's, that's debatable. The, the, the A minor shit is like your hand. You literally, yeah, you literally got to think about what he's saying in the song at that point. Like, yeah, come on, so the fuck, he flipped he's the whole driving album. that point in yeah, the song. He's exactly, like, that's he's not driving like a hiding thing. Not you're not like subliminally like, saying it. To be yeah, fair. It, to be fair, he's talking, and I ain't gonna say this nigga name because I'll never say this nigga name because I'm afraid. 
he's talking about a nigga and his crew. Cause he the line right before the certified lover boy sort of it's not about Drake. It's Blank about, got it's a about weird Mr. case. Why? Don't, whoa, 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 whoa! Slow down, brother. It's Don't say Mr. no names. I was gonna say Mister Not Nice. Blank got a weird case. Why is he around? Like and and Blank's think, defense and Blank's defense. Wait, wait, right? wait! Before before you before you defend him, before this record came out, Kendrick already said, "Yo, you got these people around you." He didn't call Drake this. Yeah, but that's how it's perceived to the public. That's how it's perceived, that's bro. Because he's such a great it. fucking writer. Yeah. Right? Yes, right. that's why I... That's why all right, I be trying all right. To, that's all what right. I was trying to it, say. Bet. That's what it, I was trying to say. We're on the and same this, page. And this is why yes. the line falls flat. This is why the line falls flat for me, right? Because... And this has got me looking at Kendrick Lamar a little different. Because of the fact that Mr. Not Nice has a case Pimping is sex trafficking. I need everybody to understand that. Okay? If I'm pimping, I'm, I'm 31. If I'm pimping 40-year-old bitches, I can get lo- when I get locked up, I'm going to jail for sex trafficking. Okay? That's just, that's just how pimping... Pimping is sex trafficking. Yo, listen, bro. Right? Listen, bro. You might as well... I might as well make a bar about celebrating sex trafficking. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Think about Kendrick this, bro. Lamar's his OG promoted pimping for years. He was on the remix to the biggest pimp song of the century. Oh. To Pimp a Butterfly. No. P-I-M-P by 50 Cent. I just mentioned to Pimp a Butterfly because it's like... What, literally end the name? He, he was sex trafficking butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... We could end this topic right here because it it gets spooky after this point. It, it gets spooky, and, and and that's why I said like with the meet the, the Grand- Barzini meeting. Yeah, the Barzini meeting. The Barzini meeting. Let's get back to that. Drake. Uh this isn't. Let's just put it right here to end. Maybe to not to end the pod, but to end the topic. This isn't the end, and this wasn't an accident of what just happened with this "quote unquote" rat beef. No, it's not an accident at all. This is they're trying to, they're trying to stop the boy. They're trying to because, force a narrative. And, That's what it and is. And here's my level five, right, of my theory of it. And I told Sierra this, and I told people in the spaces this shit, and nobody seems to agree with me on it, right? But it's okay. But I still feel this way. If we look at the Billboard charts, right. The hottest songs right now is Kendrick Lamar's, right? It's Drake. Then there's Taylor Swift. There is the the country tipsy song. I don't know if you niggas heard that song. That song is amazing. The Shabuzi. Shout out to Shabuzi. song is amazing, right? Shit hard. Then you have Million Dollar Baby. It's another banger, right? There are, all, there are no other rappers on the charts. My theory is that they Rap are- done, bro. Huh? Rap is done. I, and I'm, go- I'm, I'm saying that and nobody's seeing it. I feel like because if you take Drake off that, if you if you stop Drake, right? If you stop him, rap is finished. There yeah. is no rap. Oh, that's gonna be charting? No. There won't be. These niggas do numbers, but these niggas don't do Drake numbers consistently. And that's the problem. Rap is over with, bro. Rap is over with. And I feel like they're trying to stop rap. Rap is still gonna be rap, yes. But they are tired of rappings reaping all the rewards. I th- I'll put it like this. I forget who said this, or if it was a popular nigga, or maybe I just seen a tweet. But a nigga said his grandfather told him, "I don't fuck with rap, that rapidity shit." But don't let these people do what they did to my jazz to rap, and that's what they're doing to rap right now. Yep, it's, it's happening. It's jazz happening. was heavily influenced by black culture and. Was the best thing smoking until them people came in and changed the entire genre, and now you don't even blink or think about that shit. Yep, I think I think rap will go back to underground. It will just be, it will have viral shit here and there. You have a few people, but it, there will not be an artist that's Drake had almost twenty years on top of the game. That is insane to say. 20 yeah. years. I just think but it's funny. 
All you passed the 15 mark. Not, not to cut you off, bro. I just think it's hilarious because when he drops again, I just want to see what's going to happen. Like, as far as him charting and, you know, what, what, you know, what he's saying. That's what I was saying. I want to see what these next two, three, four months look like. Yeah, because Kendrick obviously going to drop, but I want to see what else happens in terms of the field. I don't think. Not just these two niggas. I don't think. And I, and I feel like, and, and Ciara pointed this shit out um, the other day. Damn, so, Shorty got mad shout outs on Shorty got mad. She's a, she's a, she's a. Very good journalist. She's fucking. She's Peter Parker level. She's shout fucking, out to shout out to Shorty. Um, she was saying that to when when Remy Martin brought out Sheeta, right? She was backed by. We know who she was backed by, right? She was promised all these things, right? And years down the line, she regretted it. She said it on an interview. She regretted doing dropping Sheeta because she was promised all these things. And her career took a dramatic drop. She was supposed. She got the Jay Z. She got. The, she did. She did get that Jay Z feature for all the way up. That's why I was Grammy, uh, Grammy nominated. Let's not forget, right? Look what happened after that. We can talk all this Twitter shit and people sign with Kendrick and this and that and the media is doing this. But after that, she had to do a show with Joe Budden that failed. My nigga, not saying Kendrick is in that position. No, but. His next album better deliver, or his curtains close for that man. I, and that's where I'm. I, Kendrick is too great of an artist and an MC for that to ever happen. Yes, but everybody has the weak album. It's possible, but it's, possible. I, it's, it's, it's just not with that nigga. We don't know. I, I can I can probably. Nah, I think everybody say, everybody is already. But I'm telling you. It's a reason why everybody is in their positions for a reason. It's because they somebody baby. So they already being invested in is a different type of game now. Like obviously they have fans and we stream and they shit, but bro, it's it's a whole game behind the scenes, bro. Like you know, I'm you, not saying you own flop, more chips on the see. board, you move let's more see. units. The, That's how right. it works. Yep, and let's see how how the how how niggas' careers look after this. I want to see artists like Future and and ASA. I want to see all these niggas that's this and Drake, right? I want to see their careers without them. Yeah, I mean, I ain't really I don't worried about that. disrespect nobody. I'm also worried Who? about when Drake drops. I'm about to say, at and then this it point, goes back to normal, and this nigga is literally still on top of the charts, like running the charts and all that. Like it's like, bro, exactly. what, what what happens then? Like I, I'm so confused. Like, yeah, y'all just told me Pusha smoked him. Now y'all telling me Kendrick smoked him, right? So Drake ain't like Drake was some titanium undisputed nigga. Like y'all already thought that nigga was. It's just the old heads of hip hop. That's just what it come down no, to. No, like, it's for the young niggas too. Like you know, the it, young uh, niggas uh, that uh, thought uh. Pusha was that nigga because he said what he said, and you know what I'm a, saying. A lot of the narratives are being pushed by West Coast niggas. I, 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 I'm noticing that a lot of narratives is being pushed by West Coast niggas and. Uh, pump it up, Mr. Pump it up. <laughs> Shout out to them niggas. Them niggas ain't had no. Uh, uh, let me, let me, let me be careful what I'm about to say. The West Coast. Shout nigga, out to them. Niggas. The West Coast ain't having hit in years, nigga. We gonna, yeah, we there gonna, we go. We, we gonna speak on it, nigga. The there West we Coast. Go. They had Roddy Rich and Roddy Rich flopped. Okay, I'm gonna say it. West that nigga's Coast, on Gunna album right now. The West Coast, ain't nobody bro. said nothing about that. The Gunna bro, album is lie, very, very mid. I'm not gonna lie. There's a few nice songs on there, but is he sounds very depressed on that album. Who? Gunna. Um, Wait, that's another Gunna. thing. You see, that's why I be waiting until from now on. This is how I see it. I don't give a fuck what it shit is in a moment. Until time goes by. And niggas is listening to that shit, and that shit register after after a while. Niggas, bro, niggas always come back under with a new understanding of what niggas said, bro. We did it with Jay Z and Nas. We did it with Pac and Big. You know what I'm saying? We did it with LL and Cannabis. You know what I mean? We did it with you know uh, uh, 
Well, all these, all these legends, bro. KRS, like all, all these niggas, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we, as time go on, we come back. You know, shit, shit unfolds. What's really going on? You know, and it's hard to duck the truth. Like no matter how you want to shape your narrative, like once it's out there, it's like, uh, well, you know, you tried, but. Now this is out there too. So now what? Like you know, now you got to do more work trying to either defend yourself or and apologize and speak to the people, or you got to try to keep spinning the narrative. Like, yeah. And then that's just more money. Like you just spending more money trying to push out manufactured bullshit, just so you know it could. Because you got like I always told y'all like. The younger generation is who's on, is in these comments and shit like that anyway, for the most part. They're the ones who really press for this type of shit. We love this type of shit, but we don't care for the social media part of it. Right. We, yeah, that's we not only going to get into it only but so much. Like We're going to comment here and there, maybe if it's some bullshit or maybe if some cool shit we want to say. You know, we're going to do the lives, the spaces, whatever it is. But as far as, like, constantly commenting dumb shit, you know, chanting bullshit. Yo, you this, you, 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 PDFL, you, this nigga, you that, you beat this, you, nah, gang, that's wild. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you have to be a different, the naive niggas. You know what I'm saying? The younger generation, they 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 more so is is the ones that's engaged to that point. It's like a game to them. So and, and to and to end it off this with a hot take, Ether is not the best this record ever made. Back down is. I need people to stop saying Ether is. It's back down. Um, 100%. that's debatable. It's always been debatable. I don't think everybody run with Ether. Everybody still be saying um, hit them up. I still be saying when people say hit him up. Back down is better hit him up. Yeah, that's debatable. I don't think back down is better. I don't think back what? down is better than either either. What? Actually. Nah. What? Shit. Mine nah. is. Hell no. You gotta hate it the way we get in this paper. I saw that nigga throw that diamond up before them rocks <laughs> before them shots was fired. <laughs> nigga, what? That nigga, nigga is... had Max on the hook. Come on nah, now. Yeah, I nah, give it to I, I think I think that's because crazy. 50 Cent has so much disses. We'll, we'll get into the best diss records next week. I think we can say that for next week. Yeah. It's a lot going on out here, man. Central C's walling, wearing G Unit clothing. Word. The game is wilding. The game is wilding. 50 got it's going mad. crazy. If you took a disses too, like bro, come on, check on, man. That, ain't nobody that, made that's realm that's of 50 is crazy. That's why I Not said just his down. songs. Back down gets hidden in all the fifty cent discs because he has like fifty cent has like maybe like three albums worth of disc records. I'm not even talking talk about his songs that he performed or written though. I'm talking about just that realm. Him, the records going at him too. That whole era was just insane for hip hop. Yeah, the locks like, on his the locks was on his neck, bro. Because you, yeah, like what what are we talking about? Like, yeah, we'll never see no shit like that. Ever yeah. again, yeah. Hopefully, it may. Unfortunately, because hip hop is bro, hip hop is done, bro. Yeah, but Drake may drop an EP. You didn't hear from me though. But anyway, uh, next. Quest topic. Love said it. Hip hop is done. Y'all niggas seen Cat Williams special on Netflix? Just before we could finish out a couple more quick topics. My, no. my daughter said it was ass. I said, I, I said, what you doing? Babe? She said, I just finished watching Cat Williams stand up. I said, how was it? She was like, it wasn't funny. I, I ain't said, see it. I'll let y'all watch it. I'm not going to give an opinion. I watched it live with my shorty, and eh, it was cool. It's just he had a lot of hype going into it is all I'm saying. Right, right, right. Exactly. Yeah, I'll check it out, and we could talk about it maybe next week. What about the Tom Brady roast? Netflix. Netflix I didn't had check a nice little week. I didn't check that out either. That shit was long as fuck. Ben Affleck was up there crashing out. I heard he was. Nigga crashed out. Shout out my nigga Schultz. He was up there. Drew Bledsoe is funny as hell. Who would have thought? Rob Gronkowski, just as retarded as niggas thought he was. 
It was pretty cool. Randy Moss was up there. It was a nice roast because this is the first roast I've ever seen of an athlete, the greatest football player ever. So he had comedians. He had like random, you know what I mean, like celebs. He had Ron Burgundy up there, he's Kim the, Kardashian. He's, he's, uh, Ron, Burg- oh, Ron Burgundy. Who the fuck is Ron Burgundy? Ron Burgundy, nigga, Will Ferrell from oh, Anchorman. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was like, who the fuck he was talking like that nigga was yeah. real? Um, <laughs> I mean, technically, the greatest roast though is favorite flaves. I think that's the still the best roast ever put on screen. Time wise, maybe this this roast was pretty good too. Um, Kevin Hart did a really good job hosting the shit. Like I said, it's it's a lot of Julian Elliman. His set was fire. The the athletic part and the athlete part of it with Tom Brady having his guys up there from the Patriots roast him, that was a nice surprise. You didn't expect any of them niggas to be really funny. And a lot of them were like supremely funny. But you know them niggas Obviously, don't get, you know them niggas don't get they, they they don't write the jokes, right? Well, yeah, I know. I mean they have like ideas and then they have people write them for them, but you still gotta deliver that motherfucker. Right. Co- comedy is not just about having a good joke. Your timing got to be right. Right. Can't fumble no words. Like, you got to be on point. And some niggas did a good job. I check. I, that shit is just so long. That shit like four hours or some shit. Three and a half hours. I I haven't. I seen clips, but I still haven't watched the full uh special. But I think it's worth checking out. Um. Y'all got anything else y'all want to get into, man? Um, the boys trailer dry. She look kind of mid too. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just a lot of mid going around right now. So you know, I'm not really, I'm not it's really the middle of the year and it's mid dropping. It's, what happened to this future mixtape that was supposed to drop? That shit it ain't. It wasn't a mixtape. It was a song with T Grizzly. <sighs> yeah, I think we should just end the pod at this point. Yeah, shout out to T Grizzly, man. Shout out to Caitlin Clark and the WNBA. They finally got these women chartered flights for traveling to games. It's crazy that they had to go through LaGuardia and shit with niggas to get to a game. And one superstar white girl they pull just, up and they now. They just canceled the WNBA. They had just getting traded. No, nah, no, nah, they about to. They they finally about to make it a real league. Caitlin Clark is about to change all of that shit for oh, real. Okay, good. Like yeah. I said, she was just drafted in. Preseason is going on now, and they made, they got chartered flights for games now. They used to have to go through regular airports. Now they got, you know what I mean? They got their own shit. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy when you think about it, for sure. But it just takes that one person. That happens with every league. That's crazy. That's insane. Shout out to Caitlin Clark. Shout out to all of them. Anything else? Y'all got anything else y'all want to tell these people, man? We had an hour and 40 minutes right now. God damn. This shit fly, boy. Uh-uh. Nigga. Fuck your bitch in the click you came, nigga. Cracking the 80s. <laughs> Cracking the 80s podcast.com. Y'all niggas tune in. Y'all tune in to, um, to us individually, man. We might see niggas at the embassy. You might see us at the White House. Who knows? You might see us, you might see us on Kick or Twitch soon. You never know. Life is, life see is us crazy. On- on X, who life knows, is crazy. Man? Life is crazy. Life is very fucking crazy. Life indeed. is good. Life is good. All right, y'all niggas. See y'all niggas in hell. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. <laughs>